Hi everybody and welcome to another Friday's tutorial. And in this week's tutorial I wanted to talk to you about the shape of the cone. Now uh, it's very obvious that I instantly thought of an ice cone. So that's what we're going to make out of it. And we've seen how the cylinder was built up. Well the cone is uh, not much different except that uh, it's uh, well ending in a point. And we also have to take a good look at how the shadows will behave on this kind of shape. And what we also uh, put in is a little bit of ice cream. And um, well, if you go to an uh, Italian ice piler or something, a uh, shop where you can buy ice, then they scoop out a circle, the, the, the sphere, and then they put that into the cone. So that's what I wanted to draw with you. And what you see here is the Wolf's Carbon Charcoal Pencil. And I make a long taper on it. So a long point so I can use my pencil uh, very flat. And what I do first is decide uh, in which angle the cone is going to stand. And then I put in a, well, a straight line that's exactly 90 degrees and then I can start creating that diamond shape and the diamond shape is going to help me to uh, put the oval in the correct angle so this is very important take your time for this and then uh, divide it again into four as you have seen in the previous lesson and then you can <coughs> then you can easily shape your oval inside of that diamond shape. Make sure that uh, uh, that there are no angles in them or wobbly lines. And then you simply clean that up, and then you have your perfect oval in the correct angle. Now all you have to do is to connect the sides of that oval towards the point and then you get your cone as it is perfect perfectly designed and now we can start to put in uh, some ice cream in that so um, well the ice cream of course uh, are not perfect circles the ice will be melting as we are drawing and on my Patreon page you can watch me uh, draw this and get more tips and I draw in real time and I talk while I draw so if you want to join me there you are very welcome indeed to get even more tips now on top of that ice cream I wanted to put in a little cherry and the cherry shape of course is again a circle you can see it in the left top and uh, also that circle um, um, is not perfectly round of course and what we also get is the cookie dough of which the cone is made of and uh, also on that cookie dough there are diamond shaped um, lines and we have to deal with our light source of course so now I have the shapes I have my cherry pop and I have the ice cream itself here you can see me putting in the uh, shadows that are on top of that cherry pop and also on the little leaf that I've left on the top of the cherry you can see that the shadows are on the right side of the cherry and even that little uh, branch on top is casting a shadow now the right side of the ice cone will be uh, shaded in with the uh, gray values of 4, 2 and 0 and the left side which is in the light will be drawn in with the values 10, 8 and 6. So let's first put in the value 4 
and two in the whole right side of the ice cream. It's very important to put in that underlayment to create later on a very uh, huge 3D effect. What I also draw in already are little uh, ribbly lines that will help me to create the diamond shapes of the cookie dough. So, 4, 2 and 0 are the values that I'm using on the right side. And um, on the cone itself, I put in more values uh, 2, while I will leave the value of the ice cream uh, around 4. Because uh, the ice cream is vanilla in this case, so it's whiter than the cone itself. So, this is the whole right side. Now we take a look at the light side. Those are in the values 10, 8 and 6. So, I put in a little bit of layer and I clean up a little bit of uh, the lines that are inside. Now the top I will leave in the value 10 because this is very light and it's white ice and the cookie dough can be in the value 8. So once you have that you can start creating the diamond shape of that cookie. So I simply draw in lines and those lines are not straight. They go a little bit around and they are following the shape of the cone. I also draw that in in the shadowy part but a little bit less. Then I go in the opposite direction. Putting in the lines and I want to draw uh, even though this is just a sketch but I want to draw a convincing uh, surface of cookie. So on the side of uh, behind those ribbles that are on top of that cookie dough, there is a shadow casted. And those shadows make a very convincing um, well, uh, cookie surface, if you want sometimes hard to explain because there are not quite yet words for them but I think you get the grip to get my idea behind this so I'm simply putting in every diamond shape a little shadow and you can see it as it starts to uh, become a very, very convincing surface of cookie. Take your time for this and just, well, it's just fascinating to, um, to do these kinds of exercises. You can just imagine what will happen once we start to make this drawing on the more expensive parcel paper with colored parcel pencils and stuff. But you first have to conquer this stage. So now I get rid of a little bit of the little helper lines and I clean up my sketch. And um, well, of course, I also put in a little bit of extra shadow uh, behind the little sherry which is casting a shadow on the, um, on the vanilla ice cream. And as we are drawing, the, it seems like the ice is melting, so I will have to hurry up. No, I'm just kidding you. But I put in a little bit of texture in uh, the vanilla ice, which is melting, of course. And I put in a little bit of extra shadows to well, make it pop out a little bit more. And what is also very, very uh, well, awesome, I think, is to get that extra 3D effect by drawing in a casted shadow, which is casted uh, upon a table or something. Uh, 
And what you have to take notice of then is that the shadow nearest to the object, and uh, we've seen that too when we were drawing um, the cup of coffee and when we were drawing uh, the box with the little kitten cat behind it in the previous lessons. Uh, to draw in that, that casted shadow brings you that extra 3D effect and it's just fun. I even draw in the little shadow that the cherry is uh, casting upon the table. So the value 0 near to the tip of the cone and then to the value 2 and then to the value 4 for the top of the little ice cream. So, well, just put in a little bit of extra um, dramatic shadows if you want. And when you are happy with your drawing, then you know you have done a great job. And I will come back with you and we will start drawing some more on colored paper. Now, if you like this film, please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button or maybe I can see you on my patreon page you can get more tips there thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next tutorial